Today, we're going to be doing one of my favorite things, and that is reading. Reading can open up worlds that you never knew existed, and you can learn so many new things by reading. So I hope that everyone is reading a lot, whether they're in school or not. And today, we're going to do a read-along. Um, it's a book that features a chicken called Violet, and the name of the book is Let's Hatch Chicks. And we're going to explore the wonderful world of chickens and eggs. And this book was written by Lisa Steele and is illustrated by Perry Taylor. My name is Melissa Hyde, and I'm going to be reading along with you. And I am a volunteer with New Hanover County 4-H and New Hanover County Farm Bureau. Those two organizations partner with the school system here in the county to provide an embryology program for all second grade students. That means they get to hatch chicks in their room, and it's a wonderfully fun adventure. Lots of knowledge is shared, and this is one of the books that we use with that particular program. So I hope you enjoy learning about Violet today and learning about what happens as we hatch chicks. So join me now. Settle down. This is about a 20-minute book, so it's a kind of a lengthy book, but I hope you enjoy learning about Violet. Violet is a gray chicken. She lives on a small farm in the country with her flock. Her yard has lots of trees and grass. That's where the chickens play. Sometimes Violet's human family shares treats with the chickens. They like lettuce and strawberries and seeds. Violet runs around and eats as many seeds as she can. The chickens lay eggs for the family to eat. Chickens have a nice coop to sleep in at night. There's a dust bath nearby. Chickens don't take baths with water. They use dirt to keep their feathers clean. Can you spot the chicken in the dust bath? One spring day, Violet left her friends in the yard. She had decided it was time to become a mother hen. She headed back to the coop. Violet peeked into each nesting box. Then she chose one she liked best. It was quiet and dark. It had lots of straw bedding to keep her eggs safe. It even had curtains across the front. The family noticed Violet wasn't outside playing with her friends, and they were worried. Was she sick? No, Violet was broody. Some broody chickens seem angry. They puff up and make growling noises if you get too close to them. And their nest. Don't worry, she isn't mad at you. She's just protecting her eggs. They will soon become her chicks. Most eggs in a chicken coop are just like the ones you eat. They will never hatch into baby chicks. But if a rooster fertilizes an egg while it is still inside the hen, that can change. When a hen lays a fertilized egg and keeps it warm for three weeks, an embryo grows inside the egg. The embryo is what will turn into a chick. Eggs that are not fertilized cannot turn into chicks. Violet began to lay eggs in her special nesting box. She still came out to eat her breakfast, but when her friends went out to play, Violet jumped back into the box. Violet worked hard to make the nest perfect. She tugged at pieces of straw with her beak. She started pulling feathers out of her breast and placing them in the nest. The feathers made a soft bed for her chicks. Her bare skin helped keep the eggs warm. There was just one problem. Violet needed more eggs. She didn't want to sit on the eggs until her nest was full. The other chickens wanted to help. They laid their eggs in the nest. Kate, an Americana, laid a blue egg. Annie, an Australorp, laid a pink egg, and Abigail, an olive egger, laid a green egg. Soon Violet's nest looked like an Easter basket. Once the nest was full, Violet spent more and more time on the eggs. She made the nest up just the way she wanted it. All the family could do was help. Inside the egg, a baby chick rests on the yolk and starts to float. If the egg doesn't get turned... The chick can get squashed between the yolk and the eggshell. Violet made sure to turn each egg over and over. 
She did it several times each day. Violet also needed to keep all the eggs warm. She flattened her back and spread her wings out so all, all the eggs were covered. She made sure to move the eggs on the outside of the nest closer to the middle. Violet even tossed pieces of straw on her back to keep the eggs safe. She was trying to hide herself in the nest so no one could see her. Violet fussed over her eggs. She made happy clucking noises whenever the family went to check on her, and she knew they were excited too. Did you know that baby chicks can hear a mother hen clucking to them while they are still in the shell? Violet kept the eggs warm so the chicks could grow inside them. She missed playing with her friends, but her eggs needed her. She was a little lonely, but soon she would have babies of her very own to keep her company. At night, the other chickens came back to the coop to sleep. Violet had plenty of company then. Everyone was inside safe and sound on the roost. Now, if you're hatching eggs at home, your family might use an incubator. And if you have an incubator, you will need to be like the mother hen and turn the eggs. And if you will search the internet, you can find lots of good information on how to hatch eggs in an incubator if you're interested in doing that. So what's going on inside the eggs? As soon as the eggs are warm from morning through night, the chicks will begin to grow. Everything a chick needs comes from the egg. The egg yolk will be her food. The albumin helps to cushion the embryo while it grows. It shrinks as the embryo gets bigger. An air sac forms in the rounded end of each egg, and that's what the chick will breathe until she's ready to hatch. Fresh air enters the egg through tiny holes in the shell called pores. A chick needs three weeks to grow. Let's peek inside an egg and learn what is happening each week. The first week, which is day one, two, three, and four, the eyes develop. They're one of the first things to form. By the fourth day, your chick's heart is beating and her wings have started to grow. Can you see the feathers? On this baby chick's wing? By the end of the first week, your chick will start to take shape inside the egg. Her legs and wings finish forming. She has a beak and even some toes, but she still has lots of growing to do. Did you know that chickens can see more colors than humans? This helps them find bugs, seeds, and berries in the grass. And most chickens have four toes on each foot, but a few breeds have five toes on each foot. And there are lots of different breeds of chickens. And that's an interesting thing that you can look up on the internet as well. Want to peek inside an egg? You can't crack it open, so you can try candling it instead. An egg candler lights up the egg so you can see what's happening in there. So try candling for the first time after one week. Try again after two weeks, but just don't disturb the eggs after day 18. When you're candling, the first week you might see a spider shape. The body of the spider is the embryo. That will become the baby chick. The legs of the spider are the blood vessels. They help the chick grow. The second week you may find a big blobby shape. This means the chick is growing and your chick will get bigger and bigger until it takes up nearly the whole egg. If the inside of the egg is clear after two weeks, the chick did not develop. You can remove it from the incubator or from under the broody hen. On day 18, you might see the chick move around. You might even hear it peep. This week, days 8, 9, and 10, your baby chick will have ears. She will soon be able to hear the mother hen outside the egg. Her mouth can now open and close so she can talk to her mom when she hatches. Peep, peep. What will you say to your chicks? Now the chick is getting stronger. The egg shells give her the calcium she needs for healthy bones. And the chick will also finish growing most of her feathers during day 11, 12, 13, and 14. 
And then we get to day 15, 16, and 17, which is the final stretch. We're getting close to the end. Your chick is almost done growing. She will start absorbing the egg for nutrition. She will also move into hatch position. This means she is almost ready to break out of the shell. Did you know that a chicken's heart beats about three times as fast as yours? And then we come to day 18, 19, 20, and hatch day. For the last few days, Violet has hardly left the nest. She sat on the eggs morning and night. The family could hear her clucking softly to her chicks. The chicks were eager to get out. Some eggs were even starting to roll around. Finally, it was time for the chicks to hatch. Each chick poked a small hole called a pip through its eggshell. The chicks rested for a few hours after they made the little hole. Hatching is very hard work. Once the chicks had rested up, each one used its legs to turn in a circle inside the shell. As it turns, the chick pecks around the shell until the whole top of the egg pops off. This is called the zip. Zipping the top of the egg can also take many hours. Finally, the chicks use their legs to kick out of the shells. All of this can take a whole day or even two days. So the family was patient and waited. It was hard not to help, but they knew it was best to let the chicks do it themselves. As each chick hatched, it rested for a while so its feathers dried and got fluffy. The family could hear peeping under Violet. They were so excited to see the new babies, but knew they needed to wait. Violet stayed close to the nest with her new chicks. They spent a lot of time sleeping. Some even fell asleep standing up. Some of the chicks napped underneath Violet. Violet and her chicks needed their own space for a few days. The other chickens were curious, but they couldn't meet the chicks yet. Soon the chicks would be curious too, ready to get out and explore their new world. Sometimes a mother hen does not want to raise chicks, or you might hatch eggs in an incubator with no mother hen. And if this happens, your family will be the mother hen for your chicks. So you're going to need to make a brooder box, and you can use any kind of box, a cardboard box, a dog, crate, a dog crate, or a puppy playpen. You will need a heat lamp, a water dish, a feed dish, and you'll also want paper towels or dirt on the floor so it will be soft and not slippery. And you can put lots of other things in the brooder, and there's a lot of information on the internet that will tell you how to set up a brooder box if you find yourself in a situation where there's no mother hen. So the family gave Violet a small plate of chick feed and a shallow dish of water. They put small stones in the water dish and that way the baby chicks could not fall in and drown. Violet showed her chicks how to drink. She showed them how to eat as well. She pecked at the little bits of chick feed. Baby chicks don't need to eat for the first two days after they hatch, but then they need to eat every day. Chicks are like other kinds of babies. They're fragile and they can get hurt. It's good to play with them. If you're careful, they will get to know you and they make great pets. So be careful when you're holding your baby chicks so that you don't hurt them. And only play with one chick at a time and ask your parents or another adult to help you if you're going to handle your baby chicks and learn to, to get used to them and have them get used to you. Soon Violet knew it was time to let the chicks meet the chickens. Sometimes a chicken can be mean to chicks, and most chickens are just curious, though. Violet stayed close to her chicks to make sure they did not get bullied. The family also watched to make sure the chicks were safe. These chickens recognized the chicks from the coop, but if your chicks hatched in the house, you might have to keep them in a small cage outside for a while until the other chickens get used to them. Once everyone gets along, the chicks can join the chickens in the yard. Soon Violet roamed the yard with her chicks. She showed them how to look for bugs and berries and weeds to eat. She taught them what was good to eat by tidbiting them. If a chick tried to eat something bad, Violet pecked the chick on the head. 
Violet taught the chicks how to take dust baths. She showed them good places to hide from danger. She taught them how to hop up onto a small branch to take naps. She protected them and let them cuddle when they were cold. Violet kept teaching her chicks for five weeks. Then she left them on their own. She had taught her chicks well, and they happily played outside looking for bugs and good things to eat. They followed the others back to the coop when the sun went down. They were part of the flock. The new chickens still had more growing to do. They look funny when they're teenagers. They have skinny necks and long legs, and their baby feathers fall out, and they grow their big girl feathers. Another fun fact, chickens should start laying eggs when they are four or five months old. Chickens can live to be more than 10 years old, but usually will lay eggs for just a few years. With the chicks all grown up, Violet returned to her old life. She played outside with the rest of the chickens and napped under the trees in the afternoon. She was happy to be back with her friends. The family wondered if she would want to hatch more chicks next spring. What do you think? So I hope you enjoyed learning about Violet and hatching chicks. And I hope you'll join us again on our Farm Bureau Facebook page where we'll have other ag-related books and read-alongs. Thanks for joining us today.